Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about how to embed a video in a dashboard, an ArcGIS dashboard from Esri. How do I do that? Right now, I've got a video in my dashboard that is linked to a string of text. So if I click on there, I see the video. Okay, that's all fine and good. This is a video, by the way, as you can see, me out there in the field talking about storm drains, why to map them, how to analyze them, why they're important to our community, and so on. But let's say I wanted to dig deeper and go to the point where I can have my video embedded inside my dashboard. So if I go to embedded content, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and this is my final result. I really want that to be inside my dashboard, just like you see here. Now, how do I get to that point beyond level one, which is have it linked to a string of text, but level two, have it actually embedded in my dashboard? How do I do that? Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that and I will show you how to exactly to do that. So if you go to the add button in dashboard, embedded content, you see the embedded content choices there, document, image, video. I'm gonna to go to my YouTube link and I'm gonna grab the embed code from that video, okay? And then I go to document, I paste the URL for that embed code, not just the standard URL for the video, but the embed code for the video. But just that little piece of embed code, you don't need all the embed code. And that's how to get it into my dashboard, as you can see here. And now, just as an additional set of resources that you can uh, dig into here in this video, dashboards are incredibly configurable. So let's say I don't want that video to be wide and on the left side, I want it to be somewhere else. So I'm in the dashboard creation mode. And then just like other tools inside the S3 ArcGIS platform, it's very approachable. It's very doable. So just like story maps, for example, where you've got tiles that you can kind of drag around inside your story map and add, you use the add button to add content. Here in dashboards, as you can see, it's very easy to dock things, to drag elements around, to configure them as you are experimenting with, okay, who's my audience for the dashboard? How is it best? How is the content from my dashboard best communicated to that audience? So in this case, I'm going to put my video on the right side. I've got my pie chart down there. I've got my gauge. How many videos uh, I've got in here is just one, but I've got 80 storm drains collected so far. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this. I, this is looking good. I've got my two maps, my image, my video, my pie chart, my gauge, my string of text. I'm all set to go. And so I can go ahead and save this and then share this. Now, here's a technical support article that you can also look at to guide you through exactly how I did this. And this is exactly how I did it. Look up that technical support article at Esri about how to embed a video in the dashboard. Thanks.